Hey there guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Axel, and welcome to Multiverses. It's a brand new game, and it is not out yet. I was lucky enough to get a code for the closed alpha, and I want to use this opportunity to make a video about it. And basically, Multiverses, if you don't know, it is a platform fighter game that is full of Warner Bros. properties. So there's DC stuff, there's Game of Thrones stuff, and there's stuff from Cartoon Network, and yeah. There's a lot of characters you can play as. I just did the tutorial to unlock Wonder Woman. And funny enough, I'm not even going to play as her unless I have to. Because um, I saw that uh, there's Shaggy and there's Batman, which are, you know, two people I want to main. So let's start off with teams because I prefer that over 1v1. I'm not that good at fighting games where I want to fight just one person. Choose your character. Let's see, we should probably... Can I play Batman? Or do I have to lock him first? 2,000 coins. Okay, then let's go with Shaggy then. I don't mind that. I like how this is recommended. What's this? Uncle Shagworthy. Okay. Wait, dude. I promise to try my hardest. Let's see, I'm with Tom and Jerry, and I'm going against Rain Dog and Steve Universe. What are perks? Perks make your character more powerful. Unlock your first perk by achieving Master Level 2 with this character. As you gain Mastery Levels with your character, your more perks will become available. Well, I don't have anything now, so let's go. What is Rain Dog from? I don't recognize that character. Unless, is that made up for Multiverse? Prepare yourselves! I'm not gonna let you hurt my friends! I'm gonna take on Rain Dog because he can assist Steven Universe in a big way. I like how Shaggy can just power up like that meme. They went with it. Wow, so the controls are a little finicky, but honestly, it's not a bad game. I've never played um, Smash online, but I played a lot of it offline. So I'm sort of used to these platform fighters in a sort of sense. I just I never played online because the Nintendo games online are never that great at being stable. Time to save the day. But I don't know, it feels like it feels slower playing online than it was in the tutorial. Like a lot slower and sluggish.
Oh, gotta be careful. Match point. Blue team. Hey, we did it. Round one winner. Continue. Okay. Choose your character. All right, going for round two. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we have Finn unlocked. Well, I like Finn, so let's try him now. He's pretty cool. I'll slay anything that's evil. That's my deal. So I saw this game has a battle pass, which makes sense because, you know, when the game comes out, it is fully free to play. So anyone can just download it on any, pl any platform and just play it. So there's a battle pass and kind of interesting because how would that work for a... Prepare you know, like yourself. a platform fighter. I think just full of emotes and skins and stuff, because that's really all I need. Get ready, because this biz is about to get ripped off. Oh, we only got two at once. Oh, there we go. There goes two. Okay, so Steven Universe has like this ability to put himself and other people into bubbles. And I guess that is like a shield in some sort of way. Oh, did I just kill myself? Because I did double jump. Oh shoot, almost fell off. Victory! So this stage is very small, unless maybe after every round the the out of bounds gets even smaller. Because it felt smaller this round.
All right, so speaking of battle pass, I'm gonna take a look at it right now. Uh, so in the battle pass, it looks like we have like a bunch of skins. We have coins, currency, badges, and taunts. And I noticed at the very end of it, you get a skin for Jake and his cake. If you don't know, Cake and Fiona is like the opposite of Finn and Jake, where it's females. And I like in the free battle pass, you get like the same level skin and it's um, Batman. So for both free and paid, you get a legendary skin at the end of it. So that's cool because, you know, not everyone has the money to buy a battle pass. Not everyone likes to pay for a battle pass. So it's nice that for the people that don't pay for one, still gets a really cool skin at the end of it. And that's nice and all. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So this is all the collection of characters I have, and I'm pretty sure this is it for the alpha test. Um, no doubt there's going to be more at the full game. I'm not sure they're going to add more in the in more tests in the future. I have no idea when the game comes out. Uh, should be soon though. I think so. Alright, and that'll be it for my video for Multiverses. I just want to make a short video showing a round or two of me fighting and trying out this game for the first time. And it's pretty fun. Gonna play more of this in my off time, and I see they can invite more friends that don't have a code. I think it works like that. So I'm gonna try that out, see if it works. And yeah, hope you're watching. I'll play more of this in my off time, and yeah, see you whatever I post next. Bye.